but a lot of it is not of you, God. And we ask, oh God, through your conquering powers of the Holy Ghost, that you move in the midst, touch hearts, touch minds, oh God, deliver, set free in the name of Jesus. Bless our pastor as he took over the bread of life today. Let us touch the Lord to fall in this house. Let your Chicago glory come into the place. We invite your presence now, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Bless us and we shall be blessed. And it's in Jesus, all the righteous name that we pray. And the church said, Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's wonderful to be able to pray before the Lord. Amen. He's going to give us strength and power. Praise God. Amen. For the hour. Amen. At this time, we're getting ready to bring our precious little ones to you. Amen. They're standing so patiently waiting for to come in. Amen. Our grand march. God's Not Dead Children's Choir. Come on. Yeah, Amen. Yeah, man. Left there. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. That's all right.
Whoa! 
was in a season where one thing led right after another. And you know how that goes. Before you can get out of one thing, here's something else. But you know what? God is in control. Hallelujah. I'm so glad he got up. Hallelujah. I said, I'm so glad he got up. Glory to God. He didn't stay there. Amen. But he did it just for me. He did it just for you. And he did it for you, you, and you. Amen. Thank God for him getting up. Amen. Glory to God. All power. Glory to God. We came to have a marvelous time in the Lord. And I'm just enjoying Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Acting like I don't have good sense because I'm in the house by myself. I can really just give God a little all. You know how it is. You know how but you can say glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, hallelujah, without disturbing somebody, praise God. But it makes a lot of good sense, amen, praise God, that we can give him our all in all, amen. I'm praising God for the consecration, amen. God brought us through, amen. Oh, hallelujah, did he? He made a way, amen, praise God. And I'm so grateful just to be with you today on this Resurrection Sunday. Amen. At this time, we have one little short announcement. All those that are in the presentation of Calvary, please go to the back. Yes, you know who you are. If you're in this presentation of Calvary, please go to the back. We're getting ready for Easter presentations. Amen. And we have a lot people want to tell us something, amen, and share with us this morning, and we're grateful for that, amen. All right, as soon as we kind of slow down with the movement, we're going to get started, but we want to hear them, amen. They came all dressed and nice, amen, and we want to give them an undivided attention. All right. A happy Easter speech recited by little sister Mackenzie, Madison, and Zoe. Amen. Put your hands together. They're coming. All right. Good morning. Praise God. Love giving more than we can imagine. 
for us to cleanse our sin. A perfect sac sacrifice limb of God, the walking, talking word. Mm. He is teacher, role model, friend, this God in human form. Dying, then rising from the dead, proving all who believe will also rise to have eternal life. Woo! Oh, happy, happy Easter. Oh. presentation of Calvary and after that the selection of the children's choir oh how precious is the blood Hello, Nancy. How are you? Hey, Miss Bree. 
doing good. Well, it's so good to see you all dancing up in your royal blue. I love it. I know, I know I look good. Oh. <laughs> you do look good today. So why are you all dressed up today? Well, today is Resurrection Sunday. Oh, that is right. It's Resurrection Sunday. So that's why you all in your Easter night dress. You look so good. <laughs> well, Nancy, can you tell the people? We have company today, so I need you to behave, all right? So can you tell the people what is Resurrection Day? Well, I would tell you if I could, but I really don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, Nancy, Resurrection Day is the day we celebrate Jesus being resurrected from the grave after being crucified for all of our sins. And so today, Nancy, we have some friends that are going to help tell the story of the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Oh my goodness, well bring it on. Everybody's ready? Yeah. Kids, y'all ready? Yeah. All right, so I have a friend. Her name is Mary of Bethany. Now she did something so special before Jesus was crucified. So we're gonna listen to her. Hey Mary, how you doing? My name is Mary Bethany, Mary Bethany, and I am the sister of Dr. Lazarus. I anointed Jesus' feet with oil and wiped it with my hair. Mary sat at Jesus' feet so she could be closer to God. She had a desire to be close to God before his resurrection. Well, that sounds good for you. So that was Mary. Now, we're going to hear from a disciple. His name is Peter. Now, he was also a follower of Jesus Christ. But when Jesus was getting ready to be crucified, uh, Peter did something really hurtful. Let's listen to Peter. So, so what did you do? I'm Peter. Jesus and the disciples were together. And Jesus said, on this night, we are going to be betrayed. So he said, I will not, he told the people that they were going to uh, be offended because of him. And Jesus was talking to him, but uh, Peter said, I will not deny him. And as they were just sitting there talking, uh, he also told him, Peter said, before the cock crowed thrice, that you were going to betray him. But I told Jesus I would not betray him. And you did it anyway, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> but after that, Jesus took their disciples and we went to Gethsemane. And Jesus went to pray, but he told the disciples to stay there and watch. And as he went to pray, when he came back, the disciples were asleep. So he said, couldn't you just watch for one hour? So then after that, the people came and they took him to the palace where the high chief, the chief priest was. But I stood afar off as they were gone. When we got there, I got to the fire also and warm. Then one of the maids came and said, are you with him? And I denied. Then the cops crew. Then later on, the maid saw me again, and as she was with the men standing, they said, you are one of these, because you speak Galilee, and you'll speak because of, of your speech. But I denied him again, and the cop crowed thrice. And he told me, and it came to me, that what Jesus had told me, that before the cop crowed thrice, that I was going to betray him. Then I sit and I cry. <laughs> well, Nancy, that was Peter. And as he said, he denied Jesus. And so time went on, and so they had to take Jesus. 
Jesus to the pilot. Now they wanted the pilot to determine what they were going to do with Jesus. Oh, I think that's the pilot right there. <laughs> How you doing, Master? I'm doing good. How you doing? I'm kind of upset. I'm a very busy man. And here come these Sadducees and these Pharisees and some Jews telling me that I need to condemn this man for not giving homage to Caesar. But I told them, I said, listen, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go and have a talk with this man. So I took him in the back. And we sat down and we talked for quite a few minutes. I asked him, I said, uh, they are accusing you for blasphemy, saying that you are the son of God. You know what he told me? What? You have said well. And I said, I said, well, I say that to myself. I said, okay, well, let me go on back out here to these people. He went back out to them, he said, you know what? What? Y'all had this man to come to me with all this, and guess what? What? I find no fault in the man. Well, you better tell him. <laughs> hold on, hold on. This ain't the end of it now. I come to find out that this man was not even in my jurisdiction. Mm. He was in Herod's jurisdiction. Mm. So I told him, take this man to Herod and let him um, um, judge him. You better tell him it off your hands. So guess what? That wasn't the end of it now. Mm. He went to Herod, he brought him back to me. And I said, wait a minute, what, what are these people trying to prove bringing this man back to me? I told him from the beginning, I find no fault in the man. So I told them, being that it was the Passover, it was their law, I said, y'all gonna have to make a decision here. Y'all gonna have to either accept this man, or you're gonna have to release, I'm gonna have to release one. Which one do y'all want? What they did? They say give us Barabbas. Mm. You know who Barabbas was, right? Mm -hmm. He was a killer and a murderer. Mm -hmm. They rather accept Barabbas than to have Jesus. So guess what I did after that? What you did? I told them, since I didn't find no fault in you, I'm going to wash my hands of this thing. Well, you did the right thing. Thank you, Nancy. You have a good <laughs> Pharisees and Sadducees. I really care for them too much. Oh, I think there's one right now. Oh, let's hear him. How are you doing, Nancy? How are you doing? I'm good. Uh, what question do you have for me? Well, what did you do? Well, I was one of the main guys. To start, my name is Caliphus, and I'm a head priest in Jerusalem. And uh, to start, this guy came on the scene. He's from Nazarene, and you know nothing good come out of Nazarene. What? But anyway, he come proclaiming that he can heal, kill, and you know, set free. He can lay hands and deliver. He came preaching the death, burial, and resurrection. And see, all of this stuff is against our laws, against our tradition. He's teaching against things that we didn't teach. We talk, there's no life after death. We, we know that when a man died, his souls died with him. He comes proclaiming to be, you know, the Messiah. We, we know that he's the son of man. He is not the son of God. He's claiming that he's going to destroy the temple. You know, he's threatening to tear down the temple. This man has got to be stopped. we got to do something about him because he's causing an uproar. He's got thousands and thousands of people following him. You know, he just caused all kind of chaos. So we got to do something about this guy. And the only thing we can find to do is crucify him. Well, let me tell you something. Yeah. I hope y'all change, but I know he lives because he is my soul. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> but he lives in your soul, but he don't live in my, in my soul. And we do not believe what he's teaching, and we will put a stop to it. And if you believe it, believe what he's teaching, then you will be crucified as well. <laughs> <laughs> Hosanna! 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 Hosan
But in that moment, Nancy, Jesus' mother Mary stood there and she watched all of that. She watched her son being crucified, even for her sins. Well, hey, Mary. I'm Mary, the mother of Jesus. I nursed my son and watched him grow until he became a grown man. I watched him heal the sick and heard a story of him raising people from the dead. I watched my son get beaten. I watched him being nailed to the cross and being pierced on his side. I saw his spirit leave his body as he hung on the cross. Three days later, I went to visit him and found a tombstone on the wall. I feel so bad for you. I know that hurts. So who are you? Hi, Nancy. I'm Mary Magdalene. I was, I was with Mary when we went to go visit Jesus at his tombstone. We went, we noticed that his tomb, the tombstone was rolled away. And then when we noticed that he was gone, we realized that he had risen just like he said he was. Hmm. I know he lives. Thank y'all. Thank you. Yep, and he lives in us. So, Nancy, the last person we want to hear from is Jesus himself. Oh, there he is. My goodness. Jesus? He like a celebrity around here. I mean, you with Jesus? <laughs> I'm doing great. So what did you do? Well, it's like going for a job, not knowing what to expect, or knowing that whether I'm qualified for the job, or having comments that can fit this fit another job. We, I didn't know, we, 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 I don't know that, and we didn't know that, and he or she didn't know that. But God knew what he was going to do. He knew that, that Jesus knew that he was going to be pierced in the side. He's going to be wounded for our transgression. He's going to be sleep, he's going to be slapped. He's going to be picked at, ridiculed. Yes, praise the Lord. Pierced in the side, pierced in the side. Blood and water came screaming down. Just for mankind. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord. So he tried Abraham and tried Isaac, yeah. and they tried Jacob, yes. and all of those didn't measure up to the deal that he wanted. Mm -hmm. He wasn't successful. So he said, I gotta do it for myself. I gotta do it for myself. Yeah. I gotta do it for myself. I gotta do it for myself. You know, I'm paraphrasing a little bit. It's whenever you, you want something done right, mm -hmm. you gotta do it for yourself. Jesus yeah. did it all for himself. Hallelujah. Uh, under the old, under the old patriarch days, it was under the law, and they had to sacrifice animals to tell the dove, pull out lamb, vegetables. But Jesus came on the scene and said, sacrificed his life for all mankind. Hallelujah! And uh, he didn't, he, you know, and, and under the law, they, they couldn't be, they couldn't erase sin, but he could prohibit sin. It could define the sin, but it couldn't eliminate sin. It couldn't erase sin. It couldn't destroy sin. But oh, praise the Lord, somebody. Yes. But Jesus said, I came on the scene, a new dispensation. Yes. And then he, he said, I was wounded for my transgression. It should have been us that was wounded for our transgression. Yeah, we did wrong. He said, I was, I was bruised for your iniquity. Yes. It should have been us that was penalized for the iniquity. Yes. Amen. Yes, chest out of the peak was mm -hmm. upon me. Hallelujah. Oh, oh yes, Lord. I was punished for you. And with my stripes that I took, I took them that you might save. Yes. The same stripes that I took was the stripe that brought salvation unto mankind, to all humanity. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, I did it for mankind. Yes, yes I did it for him. Hallelujah. Yes, so I put on them. Hallelujah. I made me a fleshly body. Mm -hmm. Jesus, I bridged the gap between the Old Testament and the New Testament. Yes, I did. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God coming in to flesh to mankind. Yes, being in the form of God. I probably would not rather be equal with God. No repetition of being in the form of a son. Oh, praise the Lord. 
Oh, yes, Lord. We need to form ourselves in the likeness of mankind. Oh, to be in okay. Oh, praise the Lord. Being in the likeness of mankind. Yes, to death on the cross. Death on the cross for mankind. Oh, shedding my blood for mankind. That man might be deliberate from sin. Hallelujah. I couldn't find nobody else that I did it for myself. Yes. So that man can be free from sin. Hallelujah. I didn't came to destroy the Lord. No, I didn't. I came to, oh, praise the Lord. I came to uphold it. Hallelujah. I didn't came to destroy it. But then, but then I, I find myself and holly, look at that man and see the predicament it was in. And one songwriter said, I paid a debt that I did not owe Jesus. I paid that debt for you that, that you owe, but I, I paid it for you All that right. you might be liberated yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yes. Yeah. Father, yeah. yeah. in the form, the form of God, Father, not rather than be equal with God because of no other thing of a servant, being equal, being equal to mankind. Yes, Lord, being fine, fashioned as a man. Yes, I roll myself up in it. Oh, yeah. Whew, hallelujah. Yes, sir. I roll myself up in the sinful like flesh. Right. Yes, I did. This for mankind. Yes, for yes the name I have eternal life. The name I have a right to the Holy Ghost. The yes. name I have a right to. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. And the Spirit of God, to my spirit. Yes, right. Lord. And not only that, I didn't even know nothing about sin. But I made myself a sin body. Yes. Hallelujah. I made myself a sin body for me. The, hallelujah. The second example, I made myself sin. They knew no sin. But I did it for the righteousness of mankind. Yes. That man might be righteous than the name me. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. And hallelujah. So I went to the cross. Yes. I had you on my mind. Yes. Through my birth. Through my life. Through my crucifixion and death, burial, and resurrection, I did it for mankind, all nationality, all gender, all social status. I did it for mankind. Yes, I did it for mankind. I did it because of love that I had for yes. mankind. When I went to the cross for mankind, I thought about mankind. I had man on my mankind on my mind. Yes, I did. I had mankind in my heart. I thought about man. And I know he needed a savior. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Oh, Lord. Yes, oh, when I went to the cross of mankind, I had you on my mind. Yes. Amen. Through my life. Amen. Through my first life. Yes, Lord. Crucifixion. Death and burial. I did it all for mankind. The love that I had. And the love that I have Amen. for mankind. Amen. As you said, he did it for all of us, Nancy. We should have been the ones that were crucified for the sins and wrong that we've done. That's we did. Man. But he took on our sins and our shame and was nailed to the cross. But I'm glad the story did end that way, Nancy. Yes, Although they buried him, put him in a tomb. That's right. He stayed there for three days. Uh -huh. But on that third day, Nancy, he arose. Uh -huh. He was resurrected uh -huh. so that you and I yes, can sir. have life and have it more abundantly. Yes. Amen. 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 And it would be so nice if all of our friends would come back out and everybody give them a round of applause.
helped out with this skit. Amen. We just thank God for you all making it real to us. Amen. Put your hands together. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Well done. Now our children.
Uh, wasn't that music good? I said, wasn't that music good? Make you want to get up and do something, right? Amen. The blood still works. Amen. Because if it didn't work, when you got sick, you wouldn't be here. Amen. When that bill needed to be paid, you wouldn't have the money. But the blood of Jesus covers all. It still works. It's never lost its power. That's what Sister Chico saying. The blood. It reaches from the highest mountain. And it flows to the lowest valley. I declare it works. I declare it works. Mm. Well, we're going to get ready because we got a pastor coming. Amen. He's going to bring the word. Amen. Praise God. But before he comes, the praise team is going to come. Amen. And take us right on into the Samani song selection. Amen. Put you back together. 
Yeah. 
your presence. We thank you now for who you are. Confucius died, but he didn't get up. Daddy Grace died, but he didn't get up. But when I see you now, thank you for getting up. Thank you for getting up. The grave couldn't hold you down. Thank you for knowing that you're alive. Now give me a word to give to your people. And when you do it again, I'll give you glory. Somebody shout glory. Somebody just shout glory. Because he's alive. He's alive. Our Savior still lives. My God is not dead. Somebody shout, he's still alive. Confucius died, but he didn't get up. Daddy Chris died, but he didn't get up. But look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, when my Savior died, he got up. I'm excited. I don't know about you, but Christmas and Easter are my favorite times of the year. Christmas was when he was born. My God. Easter was when he died. But that's not how the story ends. He got up the third day. He was born in me, and he's raised in me. Shout, he's alive. I'm excited. I'm excited. Let me, let me just give God glory and praise because I, I look over the audience. I look over the audience and I see Brother Richard Thomas in the building. Come on, give God good God bless you for him. Then sit but he's back. Come on. Tell the Lord, thank you. See his wife in the building. So grateful Sister Willie Bell is back again. God is doing good things for her. Amen. I thank God for him. I look, I see Erica in the building. We thank God for you, Sister Logan. And then I look down the middle aisle. Come on, y'all stand up and give God praise for Sister Dorothy Woods in the wheelchair. She's giving God her best praise. My God, she called and said, I'm ready to come back to church. Come on, somebody give God good God bless you for My God, since we last seen her, her little cousin passed away that was coming with her. But somebody shout, she's still here. Come on and give God glory. Ah. See the entire Charles family, y'all just love on him and give him a hand. God bless you. Good to see y'all. Amen. Thank God for you. Amen. And our new members here, the Jones family, come on. Platform. All our visitors, I can't call all y'all by name. Some are back there in the choir. We thank God for you. And wave at us out there in the audience. Oh, my God, if you're a visitor, come on. Let's just stand up, St. Paul, give all of our visitors, our virtual members on Facebook, our members that are in the overflow room. Come on, come on. Let me see you give God a good God bless you for all. Woo! And while you're standing, come on, let's give our young people and our adults a hand for blessing us today with Calvary. Thank God for you all working so hard. A few of them down here, I was with them till 11 o'clock Friday night. Amen, they got it done. Come on, let's give God praise. Amen. Let me do what I'm supposed to do. Come on, turn with me quickly to John 19 and 30. Just one verse, amen. John 19 and 30. I hope I didn't miss any visits all, but we love you all. Good to see the Hamilton family back. Sister Hamilton and Jarvis, I just love them. Come on, just good seeing them. Come on, clap for them. Amen. She had her options, but she made it. Amen. Thank God for it. Amen. The Goodman family, good to see all of y'all here today. Sometimes you all over there, and I don't know, but we just thank God for the overflow room. St. John 1930. Can I just do one verse, and we'll see what the Lord says here today. Amen. John 19 and 30. And it says, when Jesus, therefore had received the vinegar, he said, it is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. I want to use 
for a thought is, it's finished. In other words, it's over. It's completed. I'm done. Jesus said, it is finished. And I want you to know that everything God was supposed to do on earth, everything that Jesus was commanded to do on earth, he did it. And I want you to know, even at his birth, everything he was supposed to do was confirmed at his birth. You, you, you remember, you remember when the wise men came. Come on, for the baby shower, if you please. When they came and they brought gifts, they reminded Jesus everything that he was supposed to do. They brought gold. Gold let us to know that he was king. Come on and say he had. He was king of kings. In fact, before he got a kingdom on earth, he was known as king. Can the church say he had? And the wise men went a little farther and they brought frankincense. Oh, y'all say he had. Frankincense was would symbolize what the high priest would use in the temple. But the wise men brought in frankincense to let us know one day he was going to be our high priest. Can the church say he had? And then can you imagine the third gift at the baby shop? Say yeah. They brought Jesus up. Myrrh, y'all ain't saying nothing. Myrrh was ointment. Myrrh was the oil that people used to embalm dead bodies. I don't think y'all want somebody to bring your baby a casket for the baby shower. See, yeah, but everything that Jesus was supposed to do on earth was confirmed at his birth. He reminded him, you are king, you are high priest, but don't you forget, you were born to die. Church said, he was born to die. He couldn't get away from it. He was born to die. Not like you and I would die, but he was gonna die for the sins of the world. Oh, yeah. 
See, yeah. it's not the beating. It's not that they beated him beyond recognition. See, yeah. that was bad, but that wasn't the crisis. Come on and say, yeah. Although his mother sat there and watched him beat her son, beat him till she didn't recognize him. That was horrible, huh? but that huh, wasn't the crisis huh, of the cross. Huh? Look at your neighbor huh, and say, neighbor, huh, what huh, really was huh, the crisis huh, of the cross? Huh? See, huh, they beat him huh, all night. Huh? See, huh? and the next morning, huh, they got him up. Huh, and they made him huh, bore his cross huh, all the way up huh, to Calvary's Hill. Huh. But look at your neighbor huh, and say, that was bad. Huh. But that wasn't the crisis. Huh. I mean, he was weak. Huh. He was beaten. Huh. Blood was everywhere. Huh. And they made him huh, take his own cross huh, up Calvary's Hill. Huh. He had to climb. Huh, up a hill, huh? see, yeah, huh? but that huh? wasn't the crisis. Huh? Did they nail him huh? to the cross? Huh? Y'all ain't saying nothing. Huh? Those nails huh? were very long, huh? very short, huh? and they nailed huh? both hands huh? to the cross. Huh? See, yeah, huh? but that huh? wasn't the crisis. Huh? See, yeah. Huh? So if you ask me, huh, well then, huh, what was the crisis? Huh? Come on and see here. Huh? The crisis was, huh? the crisis was, huh? he couldn't die. Huh? Well, y'all ain't saying nothing. Huh? The worst part of it all, he couldn't die. How can life die? Huh? How can he, huh? who is the giver of life, who is the sustainer of life, huh? Saying nothing. I mean, they beat him. He should have died. Say it. But he couldn't die. Ooh, God. He carried the cross, but he couldn't die. Say it. But the Bible said, the Bible said, after, somebody say after, everything. Was accomplished. Huh? The Bible says huh? he took the vinegar, huh? which was used huh? for medicinal reasons. Huh? Oh, see, yeah. huh? after huh? he had borne huh? your pain, huh? after huh? he had borne huh? my pain, huh? for he was wounded for my transgression. Huh? Iniquities uh, and the chastisement uh, of my peace uh, and your peace uh, was upon him uh, and shout uh, with his strength, uh, with his strength. Uh, 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 I am healed. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Uh, see, uh, but wow, uh, they were beating him. Uh, wow. to him. Uh, don't give up. Uh, you got a little while long. Uh, don't give up. Uh, this is why you came. Uh, yes. Uh, this is why you were born. Uh, you were born to die. Uh, right on. Uh, right on. Uh, right on. Can't you say it? Say it. He hung there. Uh, he stayed there. Uh, he could have called angels. Uh, to call it down. 
that house. I said when he got that house, the stone, the stone was rolled away. But I stopped by to tell St. Paul he didn't roll a stone away to get out. for you. Folks, they're coming by to see where they left you. They're coming by because they left you for days. And they think you're still there. They're coming by to laugh at you. Say yeah. They think you're there where you left them.
has called us to do while we still got a chance. Glory to God. We got to work on daylight. So when night comes, you ain't going to be able to do nothing. Hallelujah. You still got a chance to get out of the Thank you. 
somebody shout glory.
there's a deep hurt in the building. But the healing is on us. The healing is here. To heal all your hurt. The healing is here. To cleanse all your pains. Somebody shout the healer. He's here. Come on, clap the hands. Say, by your stripes, I'm healed.
Y'all be seated, y'all sit down now. Thank you. Sit still right there and say it's coming in my house. The breakthrough I need is coming in my house. I cry too much. It's time for me to get a breakthrough. Somebody shall breakthrough.
present all the kids. Jesus.
Amen. We ask that everyone would stand at this time. We thank God for the services. We thank God for the word today. We thank God for the program. We thank God for everyone coming out. You could have went somewhere else. You could have done something else. But we thank God that you're here today. Somebody shout, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yvonne. Yvonne. Yvette. Yvette. Patricia. Yvette. And Deacon Pinkney. Shout, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Amen. 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 Happy birthday. Let us lift our hands. May the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit rest from the bride and that sends forth now and forever. In Jesus' name, amen. You dismiss. God bless you. Thank <laughs> you.